Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and Wildlife World. And uh, today we have, it's mostly just like an update video, uh, no time lapse today, um, but we've, there's actually been uh, quite a few additions to the zoo since the last episode. So I thought we would just spend this time <laughs> uh, looking over the new additions to the zoo, to Wildlife World. And as you can see, we have the West African lion now, which is super cool. And, oh, they're both sleeping. We, we built this really cool giant rock structure here and uh, designed it with the intent of it being traversable, which it is. Clearly, you can see uh, the lions do come up here to sleep. Uh, we also made this sort of inspired by Pride Rock from Lion King. Um, which is also traversable. I put some bedding here as well as a scent marker. And it, it's just a really, really cool little interactive habitat. Uh, something we haven't done too much in the zoo. And we do have a few habitats where, you know, we have some rock bridges and whatnot, but nothing to like really this scale. And I, I'm, I'm super happy with how it, how it turned out. I think it's really cool. Uh, we also, this is also kind of different, made like a little bridge here. So here's the gate and the keepers can come in this way. And the other thing about this habitat is made like a pretty cool looking, um, almost like, I don't know what you call it, pavilion, amphitheater, dome kind of thing. It's about three quarters of like a dome. So. We have our, oh, that needs repaired or replaced. Uh, that's just a temporary power source. But yeah, so we have uh, the entrance here where, and it tunnels down underneath and pops up over here. And then the guests can come over here. They can look down over the habitat. It's also really cool because when the lions are up here, you can see them kind of just chilling up there. They just go up there to rest and everything. But yeah, this is a, it's a really cool. I'm, I'm glad we finally got the lions in Wildlife World. Uh, but the cool thing is this is sort of the carnivore section of the African area of our zoo. So if you're familiar with wildlife world or e even if you're not so the entire back half of our zoo is the african area and we do have like you know over here this is the congo area so it's a little bit more tropical um the middle is a little bit more uh just kind of a generic like it's got a mix of different animals but i wanted to do a section of like just carnivores so the, the first habitat we actually made is the cheetah habitat. So this is our cheetah habitat. And oh, here comes one running right now. He's excited because he's getting some food. Oh, he's like, give me that food. Oh, here comes the other one. They are ready for that food. Where is this keeper going to? Where is he filling up? Oh, right here. I think this is a blood pumpkin. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on, cheetahs. Dinner time. Oh yeah, cheetahs are super cool looking too. I love how they look. Like, look at them, so beautiful, so spotty. <laughs> but you know, this is this is a fairly simple habitat. Did the same thing. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of these sort of open air habitats, which honestly, like, I'm, I find them more interesting. Like, enclosed ones are cool too, but. This to me is like a little bit more, you know, we are going for a realistic zoo. And to me, this is more realistic than um, like a big old closed in habitat. Uh, but like I said, not that there's anything wrong with those, but I just kind of prefer these big open air habitats. Also doing these sort of trenches around them. This way we can make use of the invisible barrier. And this way our guests have a nice nice view into the habitat uh over here we have the nile monitor and oh perfect at training uh they have a pretty small fairly simple habitat you know they 
they're they're lizards, so you know they they don't need a whole lot, but they're really cool looking. Like, look at that. That's super cool. I love how you can see like the scales on them. But yeah, so that's our Nile monitor habitat, and then we so we have two more that we're gonna add. We have the uh, African wild dog and the spotted hyena. So we already have this habitat sort of, uh, you know, planned out as far as where we're going to put it. And then the other one will probably be here. Both of those have the same habitat size requirement. So it doesn't, I guess, really matter in the end which one we put where. Uh, but that's where those are going to go. And then that'll finish off the carnivore section. I love the rain effect and like being able to see it on the surfaces of, you know, just objects and stuff. Another new addition is we added a boat transport ride and we did this in order to sort of help facilitate getting our guests to the back of the zoo because it just for a while the whole back of the zoo was pretty empty. Uh, we also raised the maximum guest count, so uh, it was at 1,500. We raised that up to 2,500, so that and in comb combination with the boat transport ride has really helped. Uh, you can see it's like super busy. How many people are in the queue? But it's really helped with getting people to the back half of the zoo. Um, it's definitely, it's much more lively than it used to be. Our safari ride is actually super popular now. Like the queue is always really full. And uh, so that's that's really good to see. Um, we also mostly finished this building. So if you recall any of the last episodes, this has just been a completely unthemed, uh, basically platform for the longest time. So we finally, finished at least like this side of the um of this building so it's like a it's like a combination food court slash viewing platform so you know in you're inside here and oh that bathroom needs that bathroom needs cleaned up big time but yeah so it's you, you have inside here you've got a little atm you have some shops you can get uh, some souvenirs and then when you're done Come out here you can sit on a picnic bench if you want or you can look over our safari habitat which is really really cool digging that a lot i think it looks really cool and of course it also acts as uh, the shelter for all of our african animals here uh, so they can come in here they can kind of get away from the prying eyes of the guests if they if they want to of course, we have our African elephant habitat, which is, oh yeah, it's very talkative, this elephant here. Um, but we showed this in the in a previous episode, and this one's looking really good as well. And, you know, really, like, the African area of our zoo has actually expanded really quickly. Because, I mean, you imagine, you know, this was probably the combination of you know, maybe half a dozen videos. Whereas the rest of the zoo, like all of this in the front was, we've been working on since the game released, right? November 5th of last year. Uh, that's when the game released. So um, yeah, we definitely have expanded this a lot quicker than the early parts of the zoo. But I, I feel like that's probably because I've had this area really planned uh, since the very beginning, you know, I kind of knew exactly what I wanted to do once we got to the African area. So it just sort of has come together a lot quicker than the rest of the zoo did. But yeah, so I mean, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. Like I said, you know, just a just an update video here. I wanted to make sure you guys here on YouTube see all the cool new additions. My favorite thing so far is definitely the lion habitat and the fact that they really love to come up here. Um, I would like to see them come up here a little bit more, our little uh, pride rock thing. Um, 
I have seen them like one time one of the lines came up here, but they seem to prefer to go up there, which is okay. It still looks really cool. You know, we still need to add detailing around here. We'll probably do like a custom fencing here, similar to like what we did over here in front of the African elephant habitat. Um, and then the other thing, we have some space here. We have some here and uh, we have a little bit of space here, which this may just, we may just fill with like trees and scenery, but I would like to get um, maybe like another sort of main street area. And this could be a, a perfect spot to do that because I don't know that we have a whole lot of um, other animals to add at this point. I know it was suggested during uh, some live streams, uh, which by the way, if you guys are interested, uh, my, the link to my Twitch channel is down below in the description. Definitely recommend clicking that, giving my channel a follow. If you're ever interested in watching us build this live, um, we play it every single weekend over on Twitch. Uh, but it was suggested that we should add the camels and the Chinese pangolins, which um, have been sitting in our trade center for the longest time because they, if you recall, they started in this habitat and we switched them out for the red pandas. And then we made this habitat for the Chinese pangolins, but then we switched them out again for the Komodo dragons. So. Uh, yeah, it was suggested that we should put the pangolins back in somewhere as well as do uh, a habitat for the camels. The only problem I'm having with is like, where do we do it? Because we kind of closed off this section. We could do it up here. We put the sort of gateway for Trails of Africa right there. We could push it back this way and make this section, you know, part of the Asian area of our zoo. Uh, so that's, you know, that's an idea we could do, but you guys let me know in the comments down below, like where where do you think we should add a camel habitat and the Chinese penguins? Like I said, I feel like this up here is probably gonna be the best place for it, unless we do some serious like renovating and we could maybe extend the path back this way a little bit. I don't know, there's there's lots of options we could do. But like I said, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, so be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.